Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. I have a mail call today, but it's a little unique. Um, I'm only going to be opening one box today. Now, as you can see, it's a big box, and there's a lot of stuff in it. So, I've mentioned a few times over the last several weeks and months um, that I've thought the pricing on eBay was getting a little nutty. And so I've been looking for other sources. And one of those sources is a Facebook group called Matchbox Live. And uh, it's a couple of dealers. Um, and I think most of them are working with uh, consigners to try to move and sell some collections of vintage Matchbox. And they had an online auction a couple weeks ago. And I bid on quite a few things and bought quite a few really great models. Um, and so this is what that shipment is. Um, I am going to try to also talk about what the prices were that I paid on all of these. Um, because I think that's a really important part of uh, collecting, right? Is watching prices, knowing what stuff is worth. So I have pulled up uh, the auction and uh, hopefully I can hit on a couple of what the prices were on these things as I come through. I will say altogether I bought I think it's 15 or 16 cars and I paid $148 including shipping for everything that I'm showing in this video. Um, so this is a box only. Um, this is a very old box. This is a Moco Lesney, uh, the number five. I have been really trying to go kind of step by step through my collection. And um, I just posted the videos of the uh, Tipper Trucks, um, the, the series, I think it's a number two. And um, so this was something that I didn't have yet. Um, that I, I do have the model, but I don't have the box. And so this came up um, and I had to have it. Um, so this box, as you can see, it's had some previous repairs. Um, so there's some bad tape repairs on there. And um, it is missing, I think, one of the end flaps. Yeah, it's got one here, it's missing this one. And then the other two on this end um, are here in pieces so um, it's rough but these are the kinds of things that I love finding because I know I can fix that up um, and because it's rough I think I gave eight dollars for this box um, next a uh, number 20 taxi cab uh, I've done a few restorations on these in the past um, I think I've, I've got some videos even up of uh, one that, that was a box repair and um, oh, I've got an end flap there and uh, a decal restoration on the car. But the cars that I have have the red interior and this has a white interior. And this car, it's got a few little nicks, scratches here and there, but overall, um, really beautiful shape on that one so um, for some reason as, as the auction progressed it seemed like a lot of the guys uh, who were on just were not interested in some of the series one stuff um, there's a lot of interest in the super fast and some of the later models that goes there that'd be a quick easy fix for me on this box um, but it seemed like every time these came up um, there was only one or two of us bidding on them. So I think I got this one for like $10, maybe $15. Um, but for sure not, not any more than that. Um, so another good find. And, uh, you know, like I said, usually if I already know that, I think it cost me 12 bucks to have these shipped. So if I already know that I'm going to pay for shipping, I might as well load it up, right? Fill the box. So this is one that I do not have. Um, I've followed these 
pretty closely on eBay and uh, again it always seems like every time they come up they go for just crazy money um, models only and this was an original model that is in pretty good shape and the uh, original Moco box on it um, this is a metal wheel model and I think it's the number 40 Bedford 210 tipper yeah so I have a couple of the later copies of this but I have not had one of these originals yet and so again I, th I think I paid up a little bit on this one but for sure less than $20 um, on, on that so another good find um, a couple of these things I was borderline as to whether I was going to go for it or not and just nobody bid on them um, so I got a few things that will fill some holes in my collection. Um, the, uh, the number nine, the Matchbox Series boat here, I have so many of these things, it's ridiculous. I swear to God, they are multiplying in my collection boxes. Every time I come back, I find more. But this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, it has very little paint loss on it. And uh, the, uh, the original box, which I don't have on any of my boats. Um, I think I've probably got a boat that's in better condition than this one. This one's really heavy play-worn here on the bottom. Um, you know, these are plastic, so they, they didn't fare as well as some of the die cast did. But um, this one's really dirty, and uh, it's got some staining issues down here. I probably got a nicer boat. Um, the trailer's not bad, but uh, I'll have to compare these to uh, the myriad sets that are in my collection and see if uh, I can find one that's a better matchup or better pairing on it. The box, it's got a few little tears on the top, um, some bends, probably could use a good uh, press just to get it all flattened even out. On this end, I do have a little sellotape repair on that one side is this was torn off. Um, and again, if you've watched my box restoration videos, you know that that is an easy fix. And sometimes, and um, this one, I think I paid for sure around $10, maybe 12, not more than that. Um, my hardened rules typically are that I'll pay up to 10 bucks for a car, unless it's something super hard to find and rare, and I'll pay up to 20 if it comes with the original box. 25 if it's really hard to find. Um, and most of the time, especially for these newer models, I can get it done under those limits. Some of the older stuff, the harder to find stuff, I have paid up on, but um, those are my usual rules, and that's kind of what I stick to when it comes to the, uh, the auctions as well. Um, this, again, this is a model, I have quite a few of these. Some are in good shape, some are probably candidates for restoration. But this one looked almost mint. Um, there's not a scratch, a ding. There's no play wear anywhere on this. All the plastic is still shiny and new. Um, beautiful, beautiful model. Came up, not a lot of interest on it. Has the original box. Little toasty here on the corner of the box. Um, but, you know, again, considering the age that these are in, that's normal, I think. Um, so not a lot of work to do on this one. Might press out that one little corner there. But another great, really excellent shape model in its original box, um, a good find. And then um, as I was getting ready, so this was a, an auction, um, it was run by Jay Harvey. I bought from Jay and Jeff both on uh, Matchbox Live. And he sent me a message and had pictures of this. And he said, hey, I was going to throw this away. Um, is that the kind of stuff you're interested in? I said, yes, absolutely, I would um, take that. So I have an original um, near mint Ferrari Berlinetta box and model. And so I may use my original box and get some scans and see if I can make some uh, replacement end flaps and uh, tuck flaps for this so it's rough for sure this one this one's pretty far gone um, but I've done worse so um, I don't know I mean this 
this is going to be a challenge, and we'll see uh, when I get enough time to kind of chase it through and see if that's something that I even want to tackle. But uh, that's my first, what do we got, first six out of the box, and I'm not even halfway through this box yet. So next little piece, and I, I love it when you buy from a collection or a collector, um, a lot of times people will send them in these nice plastic boxes and you know really take some care in shipping and you know, this was a substantial investment to get through this and so this is a really nice packing job on these um, got another looks like another number 40 box um, this is a, a later model I believe and this is a box only peanuts inside. Um, so this was the earlier one. You can kind of see the, the difference is in those um, from the different series. So this one has the label on the end. And uh, this one does not have the model with it on the inside. It's just the box. Um, but again, this was a hole in my collection. And it's nice to, to have some box variants in there. This one actually looks really good shape. All the end flaps are attached, nothing's torn. A um, little wrinkle there in the surface, but not too bad. I mean, again, for its age, I'd expect this to be much worse. So, pretty excited about that one. Um, that's that's a good find. Um, next, th so this is something that I do not have. Uh, I've never had one of the um, <coughs> Mustangs. And this is the steering model that has the little mechanism on the bottom of the car that as you're driving, you push your finger forward or backward and it would turn the wheels. Um, I've gotten a couple of these that were very heavily play-worn where this mechanism no longer worked. Um, but this is the first, you know, close to all original model. Um, and it's, it's just in awesome shape. You know, it's got a few little dings there in the corners. That doesn't take anything away from it for me. Um, you know, these are toys they were played with, but this one is in great shape and had the original box. Now the box is a little bit rough. Um, it's missing, uh, looks like there's, there's one of my inner flaps. Um, so that might be a, a fix that we can make there. Um, and then obviously it's missing the end tuck flap. Um, so we have a little adhesive from uh, maybe an, er an earlier cello tape. Or oh, no, that tape is still on there. It's just really yellowed out. Um, so I might be able to remove that. And uh, I'm guessing that was probably put on when the end flap tore off to try to repair it. So we're missing the end flap on that one end, but um, I think that's something that I can probably repair. Again, easy fix on this, great price um, for a model I didn't have yet, and no complaints there whatsoever. Up next, get a couple of these out. This is another box only. This is the uh, number 38 Vauxhall Victor Estate car. Um, you may have seen me open up one of these in a mail call video just a couple weeks back. And um, anytime I get a car that I don't have a box for, I immediately start the hunt for the box. And so this came up, box only. Again, I think I paid less than $10 for this. Um, and now I have a box for that model. So really good shape on this one. Not missing anything. All the flaps are intact. Everything's nice and crispy on the outside. Um, straight edges, no folds, no bends, no tears, no nothing. This is a beautiful, beautiful box. Um, also here we got a number 56. This is a Fiat 1500. And this was a model inbox. So the other thing that a lot of these auction sites has been good for is um, 
a lot of times when they get something up, you know, there might be one guy that says, I'm only interested in the box, and um, somebody else says, well, I only wanted the car. I don't do boxes. I don't care about the box. And uh, they can divide them up. Um, so this one, I have a few of these models. Uh, most of mine are missing the roof rack on them. And the real detractor on this one is that little ding right there in the windshield. It's like somebody hit it with a baseball. Um, that's that's really the, the only damage. I mean, there's some surface wear, some play wear on this, but that was kind of the detractor on this one and um, made it a little less desirable. Uh, but since I have four or five of these, I figured I'd probably have one somewhere in the collection that's probably a nicer model than this. And uh, if I can pair one of my nicer models up with this original box. The box itself is absolutely beautiful. Um, all the flaps are intact all the way around. Um, so really nice find. Um, whoever had this really took good care of it. So another good model to get. So this one, I know I shouldn't be as excited about this as I am, uh, but I am because I have probably, I don't know, 10, maybe 12 of these things in my collection. Um, and I, out of all those models that I have, I have a couple even that are errors that have uh, the, uh, the decals factory applied in the incorrect area. I've got more than one model that is missing the interior piece. Um, that that had been broken off at some point. Um, this one's in really pretty good shape. I'd say it's you know, middle to top end of condition for the ones that I have in my collection, but I've never had an original box. And um, so this, this fills a huge hole. Um, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna compare it to all of the other models I have, see if I have uh, one that might be better shape even than this one. This one's not bad, but you know, whenever I start filling in some of those holes, I like to pair up my best models with my my best boxes. Um, this does have a little tear up here. Again, that's a quick, easy repair for those of you that have seen me do that repair quite a bit. And then last but not least, a number seven Ford Refuse truck. So this was another model in box. Um, and I got a steal on this one. It really, I mean, the model itself is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful shape, no scratches. Uh, window glass looks good. Um, I don't think this was probably ever played with. I mean, there's hardly even wear marks from the, the arm going back and forth in there. So, exceptionally good shape and really good value on this one. Um, I think I paid around eight or ten dollars for this and um, again the original box the the only downside on this box is this side you know this is the side I'm gonna put in my uh, in my collection uh, display <laughs> this is the side you want to look at this back side it's got a little toast going on there um, just Little torn off piece, little damage. Um, you know, I'll keep looking and maybe I'll find a uh, more mint box at some point in the future that I can swap this one out for. But uh, for right now, I don't have any box. I've got two or three of these models and I've never had one in the original box. So excited to get that one. Um, huge thanks to Jay for running the auctions. Um, for those of you that uh, have not ever done one of those, um, you join the uh, Matchbox Live page and they post in advance, usually a couple weeks in advance, when they're gonna do the auction. And then they start a live stream. And so anyone who's interested in the auctions will jump on the live stream as they begin. And he'll put up on the camera one of the models and then it's done traditional auction style format right where they uh, look at one box or one model or one car and they'll take turns people will bid just in the comment section um, you know how much they're willing to go on that car and uh, the highest price takes it and so um, 
this was uh, just a single auction. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure this was coming out of a collection that was getting cleared out. And I was able to pick up, um, let's see, three, six, nine, 12 models for uh, roughly $135, $140 plus shipping. Um, and so, you know, that's about $10 a model or $10 a box. And uh, I easily um, could have spent, you know, two to three times that on eBay. And so um, those groups and, you know, trading and buying from other collectors has been a, a really good way for me to find some really top quality models at really reasonable prices um, that, you know, you don't have to spend $50 on a model in order to get uh, something that's nice. So I uh, wanted to do this all just kind of in one, um, one video, just to talk about, you know, that as another option for where to get your models. Uh, check out the Ma Matchbox Live, Vintage Matchbox Live uh, Facebook page and uh, see those guys. And a uh, huge thanks to Jay for uh, running this auction and for the excellent job on packaging and getting me all of these models. Really appreciate it. So that's going to wrap for uh, this video. I know this ran a little bit longer, but this was a, a big purchase. So thanks for joining me. Hang in. Uh, with the, the, the longer video format here. And uh, don't forget to join us next week for another vintage diecast restoration.